I downloaded the largest and most insane sea monsters and I saved the best for last. Wait until you see this epic sea creature. This big, gigantic, mechanized dinosaur of doom. Look at this insanity with this big, gigantic weapon on top of its body. It's kind of like if you took a Muto and then mechanized it. This is what you might get. One of the things that I desperately want in this game are big gigantic weapons like this not little tiny ones or things you have to build but big huge giant weapons so now seeing the size of these dinosaurs oh no they all died instantly uh, i was gonna say it's probably not gonna last very long and it also has big giant spikes all over it and club tails wow everything's dead i think maybe i need more things i've surrounded it this will be uh, interesting to see what happens here. I think it's probably still going to win, obviously, because it's got all those spikes all over its body. And the lasers. I mean, there's spikes on its head, on its tail, all along its body, on its little feety things down here. Little spiky, spiky hands. Oh, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> not even a contest. I don't know what made me think that those things could defeat this. It wasn't even touched. Now, before we get... Any further into today's video, this Spinosaurus right here would like you to subscribe to the channel because only like 12% of you guys are subscribed. So click that subscribe button and enjoy watching this thing get a bunch of hype bombs dropped on its face. Yaboom! Now I decided not to do this right off the bat because I know that some people don't like it. But I found another terrifying nightmare creature that will devour your soul. We've got our clone army here ready to be experimented on by this nightmare. <laughs> it kind of looks like a demagogan, doesn't it? With like its mouth spiky things. I don't even know. It's a little bit more terrifying than that. Perhaps they could use this creature next time. Yeah, let's watch as these things get utterly destroyed. I put a ton in. Whoa, where's he going? Oh, what? He's using his tail? He's not even actually killing it with their face. What? I, this is the strangest thing I think I've seen in this game. Why on earth did it turn? This is the backside. This is the front side of it. Okay, that kind of doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. This is not nearly as cool as I thought it was going to be. He's just shanking them with this one little tail. I'm very dis disappointed in this. So to actually make them work a little bit more, I put him down in the midst of all these people. Could you imagine a creature like this? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, this is straight out of a nightmare. I do have to say, I'm pretty disappointed with this. I don't know why it's built backwards, but you might want to fix that. Sometimes it's best to ask questions like, what would happen if advanced weapon technology went back in time and faced off against some really plain, boring, <laughs> hipster, weird arm units? I think I think your arm might be broken, but you don't just find some random unit with like a little laser or something But you find a big gigantic mech the likes of which these people at least have never seen you get something like this It's called the lean mech and somebody made this for me to check out. I feel pretty uh, excited about it Look at this crazy creature. It's got these big old giant spikes Got some really nice face stuff going on here. It's, I like this mech a lot. Like it reminds me of a big beefy, it said it's a lean mech, but honestly, those are some big beefy, you know, mech arms right there. Prepare to die, ancient army. Oh, look at it go. Spike him, yeah. He just spiked those guys, but he didn't actually like get anybody on his, on his little hand. There, there we go. Why is one of sticking to his hand? There's oh, there's a guy in there. Oh, I like that effect too. I haven't I I haven't really like done much with the effects in this game, but like if you watch it, it kind of has like a trail as it swings around. Like that's really cool. Oh, he just blasted like a whole group of them with one swoop. Like 30 guys went flying. He won. That's a pretty cool looking mech. I should have a mech battle. That's a good idea. Speaking of mech robot like things. Check out this Goro. He kinda has a gas mask thing going. It reminds me of Bane. And then he's got these really 
really epic flinged out things here which look really cool he's all like rope <laughs> look at that made him like even more buff than he already was they're strung together with like a bunch of little torsos but do they actually do oh they don't actually when he swings and then pounds they don't really get lodged in anybody though which is unfortunate i think maybe they these need to be used on larger creatures there's a chance he might lose, but at least now we'll see if these spikes actually spike into big things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it in his tail. Look at it. It totally works. Somebody said this the other day when I played with that one mech uh, dinosaur thing that had those big spikes, and I couldn't figure out how to get them to work, and they said they need to be used on big creatures. So I appreciate the comment because we're actually seeing that with these things. I like I like those things. I wish they were a little bit like more rigid so when it actually stuck in, he would like fling them around, you know what I mean? Because they kind of just like derp out and glitch out and get all weird like that. But at least they're working. I feel like it's been a while since we were on the aquatic map. But we're here today because we have a new contender in the realm of cracking stuff. Not like cracking stuff, like if you had a, you know, thing you crack some nuts with, like a nutcracker, but like a kraken, like a octopus kraken thing. It's called the silver kraken, and it looks as though it might actually walk. It's got big old tentacle-like things, but here's the thing, it's not actually like a squid, because it looks as though it might have mech legs and it might walk. It's got lasers, big old squid tail thing. I'm pretty sure we're about to watch something pretty cool happen. Yeah, look at it walking. There it goes, lasers coming out. Yum, with the tentacles. I think those will work pretty well. And they're on those little arm things, so I think they'll actually hit, which is nice. And there's a, whoa, I didn't even notice that underneath. There's an actual beak under here with, uh, you know, teeth and all. Are they dead already? Wow, okay, they're already dead. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. It's got the- stop moving! The beak, and it's got a harpoon in there, so it sucks them- it doesn't actually suck them in. But there are spikes all over everything, and so there's like no way for things not to get spiked. It's all a bunch of torsos. That's pretty cool. I like this creation. It's really- look at, I like how it walks, too. Speaking of big, gigantic, aquatic things, what would happen if you took one of the most legendary creatures of all time and mixed it with one of my favorite creatures of all time? What would you get? Now, the legendary creature I'm referring to is a T-Rex. And if you took that T-Rex and you mixed it with a Kraken or a big, giant squid, this is what you might get. <laughs> Look at this insanity. I like it a lot. If you don't know, I'm a big fan of krakens and squids and octopus and cuttlefish and all those things that have little tentacle-like things. And so, you know, uh, <laughs> when I see something like this, I just think, wow, it's amazing. The cool thing is, too, is that all of these are on little arms, and so they're definitely going to attack and devour these things. It's just a matter of seeing how it works, because... I, I can say, oh, there's a laser. I can say that I've never actually seen a whole mouth like that. And so I want to watch. See, this is the thing. I know that lasers are fine and all that, but you kind of ruin the experience when you don't get to watch. Is there not actually? I was hoping that the head would like bend down and like actually devour something like a big gigantic mouth. But that's okay. That's not. Oh, it fell over. Now we actually might see that. Come over here to its mouth. There we go. Oh, he just poked him one time in the head and he died. You can't really take that thing out in the middle because it now it looks weird. It was an actual T-Rex head. And it has flamethrowers, which is just so weird to me. It's got flamethrowers and that they're working. Man, I like this thing. I know it's not, you know, as good in terms of like everything being covered as some of the other ones, but I like the whole octopus head thing. I like this game so much because every I don't even know. You don't even have to wait that long. Somebody makes something new that's just really epically awesome, and you just get some cool looking things like this. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're scattering already. I've got a really big problem. You see, I have so many epic things, and they're so gigantic. 
I can't really play them on any other map than this gigantic one. But here's the thing. That's a good problem for me to have because I really like big gigantic epic things. The Titanus and tech. Look at this thing. Oh man, this thing is awesome. I particularly like the beak area up in here. I have for many years liked gigantic kraken octopus things. I'm not so much into the gigantic squid, but guys, I have a new favorite ocean creature and you might be like, <gasps> how could you like something more than an octopus? It's the cuttlefish. Have you seen the cuttlefish's epicness? It's way, it, it can do way cooler things than an octopus in my opinion. But an octopus still is very unique, obviously. And there could be perhaps a gigantic one out there somewhere in the world. There's a guy flying through the air. It's just kind of trying to eat people with his beak. It's surprisingly not actually doing what I thought it would do. Anyway, comment below. What's your favorite Ocean creature, land creature, and uh, air creature. I particularly like the cuttlefish and octopus, obviously. And then I also like the bison. And then an owl. Oh, you guys, Bobby sad. Look at his face. You might ask yourself, why is Bobby sad? Well, there was no update again today, and Bobby's not taking it very well. Bobby, how can we make you feel better? Oh, by clicking that subscribe button because only like 12% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. I think they could do that for you, Bobby. One of the most favorite things for a cuttlefish to eat, though, is a crab. But this crab, I don't think a cuttlefish will want to mess with this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this crazy mechanized epic crab looking thing. Oh, those are missiles. I think perhaps this army's not big enough. There we go. I think it's probably still not big enough, especially since it's got the missiles. But we'll see what happens. It is also equipped with spikes, all in the best places. So that way nothing can really attack it. It doesn't really have any on its head though. But really does it need it? I don't think it does. This is one of those creatures that just destroys everything that it encounters. Especially ocean hippos, cause that's a thing. Ah, just a big pile of dead orcas. Look at this. Just one big giant pile of bodies. Are you Benny Hen? There is, however, a cuttlefish hunter. Something that pursues it, eats it, and if the cuttlefish does not get in the camouflage quick enough, it will die to it. It's a shark, and this one I'm quite sure would absolutely destroy all cuttlefish in the ocean. This mechanized hammerhead beast of awesomeness uh, is probably going to wind up wrecking all this stuff. It has MGs, apparently, and it has rockets. I saw the rockets. I guess I didn't see the MGs, but here's the thing. Can it actually do enough damage to take all this stuff out, or will this stuff beat it? Well, a big gigantic pile of bodies is forming. It has lasers too somewhere. I have expanded the ocean arena, so that way we can fit way more units on here. I've got pretty much all the herbivore dinosaurs, actually I do. They're over here fighting this gigantic tiger shark. And they're most likely gonna push it off the edge. Oh, oh, it's at the edge. Everything's just kind of flowing on off. That's the benefit, I guess, of the uh, hammerhead shark <laughs> into the abyss they go. Well, there we go. It's it's all dead. Everything's down at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and the hammerhead shark is f floating away completely unscathed. We're about to have a war for the ages. You guys remember Carrier, right? Where this aircraft carrier has turned into some big gigantic kaiju thing? Someone has made a battleship version, not the same guy who makes the carrier. This, uh, those are made, this is made by Unirite, which is most of the stuff that I cover in my videos. This is made by somebody else, I can't remember their name, but they made a battleship version. And we're about to find out if this battleship can, uh, take on that thing. I'm thinking not. And, uh, you can kind of see a little bit of battleship-esque stuff going on here, but clearly there's a difference between the two, and we're about to find out uh, just which one is the best. Way bigger mouth on the carrier. They both have lasers, 
Missiles coming out of that one. This one has some MG. Carrier has some MGs, but not nearly as many as uh, Battleship does. But really, we're going to find out who's get the more overall health and just does more damage. Oh, you guys, it's going to be really close, actually. Here we go. <laughs> Battleship goes down, but check this out. Look at how much health Carrier has left. Not that much. But, uh, Battleship goes down. I mean, clearly there's a big difference in design, even, you know? Unirite's creations are all so freaking perfectly epic. I, I don't even understand how the person's able to even do this. Uh, and that one was a little bit more, you know, different, derpy-ish looking. But, it was still pretty cool. And that was an epic battle, and I'm glad I found it, because I, you know, I, I like, I like that. We have an ultimate winner, though. Oh, and I guess Carrier does have missiles and rockets too, so they're pretty evenly matched. Do you guys remember last week when we covered an awesome ocean creature that is very unique in its own right? Well, it was kind of an older version, an older creation, unlike most things that this individual makes. Well, it has been remastered and recreated, and I'm pretty sure all of these uh, mammals and dinosaurs are about to die. There is an ocean creature called the Cephalostation. It was in an early form, exposed body, not really any uh, armor in certain areas. Well, that's all been changed. Behold, the Cephalostation. <laughs> it has been remastered and it is way more epic. It's got, I, I don't know if it has the same amount of legs and stuff or arms, but I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking that it's about to walk. Let's watch as all these things try to do battle. Oh, it does walk kind of. <laughs> oh, I just ate that pig. Goodbye, pig. It's got a giant mouth. Oh, the fact that it can walk is so much more epic. Because now it's truly like an ocean creature that has come onto land and can devour all things. And then not only that, I'm pretty sure it didn't have these spiky claw things before. I think these might be new or there's more arms than last time. And man, I'm so glad that the harpoon is actually working and this thing can eat stuff. It can eat like 10 things at once, which is amazing. You know what? It actually did have these claw things, but not nearly as many. And I mean, the fact that this thing has so much going on now and <laughs> makes it even more epic but someone needs to get a hold of life alert because this guy has fallen over we need a like a million cranes over here to come lift this thing back over clearly this thing was gonna take out that gigantic army but i did want to show you the difference between the new one and the old one because it's quite a difference here is the old one, and as you can see, it was, I mean, if you look in the list of things that he has created, it's one of the most, like, earliest things that he made. It's, like, on page, I don't know, three or something, and clearly, you know, this is when he's just kind of getting started. You know, right, <laughs> uh, has become a master of creating things in this game, and you can see the difference is gigantic. Ah, it's nothing quite like starting the morning with a fresh cup of nightmare. This is Choo Choo Charles, the big spider train of doom, which I don't think that developer realized how many people would be so interested in his game. Saw this thing and I thought, oh, I know what I'll start my video with. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to move so fast or to have MGs pushing him along, but that that's what happened. There we go. Well, he can't really move now, but I updated him so he doesn't have all that other stuff, but rather just big spiky spikes. But at least now we can watch him actually do some spiky spider things. Oh, look, he's got little tiny baby ones right in the front. I don't know why you need those. He had like eight flamethrowers stacked on top of each other, as well as a whole bunch of missiles. Ah, okay, there you go. Have a good morning. Now, before we get into today's video, Weedle, I want you to subscribe because only like 12% of you guys guys are subscribed to the channel and if you don't subscribe Weedle is gonna get shot by 100 archers he's going to anyway 
Yeah. Is he alive still? Nah, he's dead. Make sure to click that like button too in remembrance of uh, Pincushion Weedle over here. Given the fact that there was no update again today, I thought I would bring you guys nothing but epic things for the most part in today's video. This gigantically long epic thing is called the Frigate a peed. <laughs> I don't I think I haven't I seen one like this before or maybe it was this exact one Actually, I'm not too sure. He's got flamethrowers uh, walking up on the side. I think I've seen this thing before. <laughs> well, he just kind of drives right on by and just spikes everything down and he just just keeps going. This is actually very interesting. Why doesn't he reverse it all? Maybe he will? Why does he just keep driving straight forward? It makes no sense. This is what I expected this thing to do. Yum! We've got boosters now. We need even more than that. Wow, that thing's still pretty slow. Hey, there we go. That's more like it. Now we're talking boosters. Now I think it's gonna do exactly what I wanted to do. Let's see. Oh yeah, there, there we go. That's what I'm. Oh, and it's turning around now. Well, don't mess with the centipede now that it's got some thrusters. Things even more crazy than before. I was just about to show you a really, really awesome creature. But then I thought, you know what? This thing is so epic. It needs to have its own video. Now, that's not to say that this thing that I'm about to show you right now isn't awesome. But that other thing was on a level all its own. This thing, though is called Scorpios. Kind of like a cross between a scorpion, between a dog, and maybe like a dinosaur of some kind. Big old gigantic scorpion tail. It's actually really cool looking. I like this face a lot. I'm pretty sure all these animals are about to die. When you had pigs fighting something like this, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna last very long. He actually has a really cool mouth. I like that face of ten. Oh! Look, he's got that rhino just straight up in his mouth. Eating it like it's nothing. Goodbye, little tigers. Oh, he's got a giraffe in his mouth. You know, I really like this thing, actually, because... Oh, not too many times do you find a creature that actually bites and eats the things that it's attacking. This creature that I'm about to show you is kind of interesting. It's a little weird. And I'm not too sure what's going on with it, but it's pretty cool. This is like half man, half Godzilla, half Alpha King Titan mixed with like a Gigan Kaiju killing type of thing. And he's got this big epic giant sword here. And he stands about 200 feet tall. I'm not too sure what's actually happening here, what this is supposed to be, but this thing's called Baragos. I'm actually really curious to see how it fights. So it just kind of can't really walk too well. It's got lasers. Does it use its sword? Doesn't it swing its sword, but it's definitely poking him. I think the reason why the sword isn't really swinging is because it's not technically really even a sword. It's like a whole bunch of stuff put together to make it look like a sword. And his hands or his arms are like very rigid. Now this next creation takes what you just saw and upgrades it by a factor of 1000. It has a big gigantic what looks like spinning sword of doom. A gigantic, I'm assuming, th type of punching thing with big giant spikes all over it. The ability to fly multiple heads, which <laughs> I think these are maybe his pets. It's called the Black Dragon. And oh, I don't like it even needs these things. <laughs> what? It doesn't even need these. We need to get rid of these. There we go. I like the fact that it can fly, but I also took those away. So that way it'll actually just fight on the ground. Even though it doesn't... Oh, he's got lasers on the, in the T-Rex faces. And oh, there we go. It's on the sword spinning around. That's epic. I want to watch it throw that punching bag of doom out. Oh, it tried to a little bit. Oh, he fell over. Maybe that's why he. Maybe that's why he flies. I also removed the T Rex heads just because I want to see him actually operate without any of that stuff. And watch as he. I wish that more than one thing actually got stuck to stuff. That's like the only disappointing thing about this game, in my opinion, is that... Oh, is there still a rocket somewhere? Where's he going? Where? 
<laughs> okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have a new creature that has arisen from the depths of the ocean. I think it's like a mix between a kaiju, a kraken, a giant sea beast, and potentially some kind of man-made structure. Covered with spikes all over its body, gigantic tentacles that are covered in armor with spikes on the end, multiple heads as though it's morphed two creatures together, big gigantic back tentacles to wrap its prey, and a huge head, it's the cephalostation. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with this creation, but this thing looks terrifying. Look at the mouth of this thing. Yeah, come over here for a second, you stinking orcas. I'm pretty sure if anything gets close to its mouth, it's gonna die quickly. Let's watch, shall we, as the, these aquatic beasts, oh, they kind of bite, they always bite too soon, there we go. Oh, he just ate like four things at once. And then not only that, but he's got those spike tentacles. We need more creatures because here's why. Those spike tentacles were going crazy and I want to see it again. And this time we're going to do it with about a hundred sharks. So it should make it way more entertaining. Let's watch this thing. Look at him go. There, so we've got a whole bunch of different stuff going on with this thing at once. And then he just bites so many things at once. I love that head. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at all the. Sharks and orcas though, but uh, they are they are trying with all their might But there's just so many tentacles and things happening that I don't think they're gonna be able to bite And its neck is so flexible. It can bend so much to get those things down there That's oh look at it whip it around. It's like some kind of mix between a gigantic shark beast and a plesiosaurus or a, I, I don't even know what else has a neck, a giraffe, who knows. It's it's just a big giant water sea beast of doom. Sometimes when I'm talking, I forget to breathe. <laughs> and so, because it gets so excited, I'm like, I should breathe now. Well, this thing turned out to be way more epic than I even thought it was going to be. This apparently is somebody's version of an owl. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. I'm sure these guys are gonna wind up dying to it though. He just kind of steps on people. I don't know who designed this thing, but his wings are a little disproportionate to his body. He really has no means of fighting other than just kicking people around. I think maybe we should just move on. The other day I asked you guys to make some derpy units and I'm thinking that maybe it was a mistake. Somebody made this beauty. <laughs> this is just called butt cheeks and I'm not too sure what it's gonna do. Maybe, oh, does it have a green laser? Oh, he's farting on him. Look at that green smoke. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, it's explosive. You didn't know you are going to come here and have a fart joke and stuff, did you? Whew, blew those guys away. I made things a little bit more explosive. <laughs> Literally. Whoa, check out this anglerfish. This thing looks so good. Talk about a sea monster. Have you ever seen a male anglerfish? Every anglerfish you've probably ever seen is a female. Males are like little tiny things that just suck on the side of it and then they have babies. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about the anglerfish and its habits. Uh, but now let's watch Coward Cole get eaten by one. Oh, <laughs> he's humongous. I didn't realize he was that big, but he is just straight up eating Coward Cole. Oh, he got another one. Oh, that one's like, crap, I'm out of here. He's trying to blend in with the uh, big coral there. He's like, why would you do this to me? This look, it's so funny. Are you ready, kids? I'll give you a hint whose hand this belongs to. He likes money. He likes his Krabby Patties. Look at this Mr. Krabs. He looks so amazingly good. Let's watch as he completely destroys these kids. Yum! What are those big giant balls that he has? He's just so big and fat and he's just destroying everything. He's actually not the greatest fighter, although he's finally spiked a bunch of them. Uh, that took a while, but look, he's got two in one thing. I was gonna say he's not the greatest of fighters, but then he's he's going to town now and getting them stuck in his claws. It's like I said before, 
you guys make art in this game, and I'm always extremely impressed. Mr. Grey White, I bet you were wishing you had a laser on your head right about now. It's a Mosasaurus! Look at this thing! It's so epic looking. I'm not too sure what this little thing is in here. Maybe it's like bait or something. He's gonna try to track the great sh white sharks with it. It's gigantic. Let's watch his, what he does with it. Oh, we got one! Just right in his mouth. He went right for the little hook thing. Where's it going? Oh, he just opened up and bit down on that one. Get him. Oh, look at that. This is the remastered version. I'd like to see what the first one looked like. Maybe it was super derpy. Well, uh, <laughs> this one's still pretty derpy. <laughs> I was just like swimming around looking at things and then I found this guy. Look at how happy he looks to be dead. And he's like perched up on his little fins like as this nonsense going on in the background. <laughs> This is like one of the funniest scenes I think I've seen in this game. I am so glad this update came because there are some epic sea monsters that I am really enjoying checking out and playing. Oh, this isn't a terrifying sight or anything. Look at this giant squid. What in the world? This thing looks amazing. Oh, whoa. I'd say it works. Yes. Look at it. It's got all of them. This is a terrifying creature. Look at this. It's one of my favorites, I think. Man, this thing is so good. It's definitely attacking him. It's not, like, taking him out too quickly. Excuse me. Oh, it's the last orc. He just completely grabs all around it, and they, it's like a, like a prison. It can't get out. I kind of want to see who wins this battle. The giant squid or the kraken. Look at this thing. It's not an animal. It's not an aquatic one. Come on. It's stuck on that thing. You guys want to do anything? Oh, there it goes. It's moving in. This is going to be very interesting to see who wins this match. Oh! Oh! What is happening? Look at him go. They're both just trying to eat each other. Oh, it's all spiky spikes going on. Come on, giant squid. No! Giant squid! It went down. What's the health of this thing? Oh, it's barely been damaged. Well, this is the episode for giant sea monsters, that's for sure. Speaking of giant sea monsters, someone tell me what this thing is. What is in the world is this crazy creature look at, look at this thing what is even happening oh it's got lasers no not the lasers take two wow this thing is lagging oh it's got another laser under there and flamethrowers flamethrowers under the water that makes a lot of sense here we go take three i got some goros in here now there's still a laser somewhere i just want to see what happens with the flamethrowers I don't want lasers happening. This thing is just crazy. This is nightmare level right here. I don't even, I don't even know what is going on in this area right here. This hippo is laying down on the job. Same with this one. It's time for you to meet this giant sea monster. What? Look at this thing. Laser arm things, big giant spikes, a jaw that looks like it splits in two. It has a giant thin looking tail thing pretty sure you're all all these hippos are going bye bye oh look at it try to bite like bite it bite it yes you got him i love it when things eat things in this game it makes it so satisfying to watch when mouths actually work and he's gobbling up like three hippos at a time yeah i need this to say this thing is quite look at the hippo go Wee! bye bye hippo oh he's got spikes on the back of his legs that are just sinking into those hippos i will give the hippos some props they are relentless fighters oh yeah i'm a fan of this thing guys i get a lot of my creations from like three or four of the same people that make these amazing creatures if somehow you thought i was done with epic sea monsters i thought i'd just show you another one look at all this going on in here and look at this thing it's another kraken and this one is called the ultimate kraken and I'm gonna guess I can see why it's got lots of oh just sucking it into its mouth and then biking it like crazy yeah this one works a little bit better than the other one because the other one doesn't really move too well this one just kind of hangs out and scuttles along and spikes things up oh yeah what about this thing let's see who wins why was there explosions there for a second who made explosions happen come on giant squid we believe in you, although I'm pretty sure you're probably gonna lose. Oh, this is actually a really close battle. Come on, Squid, you can do it! It's so close! Oh, no! I wonder if it had, like, a different approach if it would've won. Yeah, 
I like this. I like the aquatic stuff. Oh, I'm not done yet. How about a robo shark thing? Look at this. Pretty sure this might have been made before the update, but still, it looks awesome. And it works. Oh, he's got spikes all over his body. And I love the way the tail moves with, like, the torsos, detached torsos. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> you think you'd float in water, but no, you just get flung in the air. Why, this one, I was just going to say, why doesn't this one ever actually bite anything? And then he just straight up bit that guy. What's that guy doing? My man, that is not how you want to battle in the jaws of a giant robo shark. <laughs> well, I'm so confused as to what is happening with some of these. This game is so derpy sometimes. Do you know what's better than a normal, ordinary, lame piranha? A buff piranha. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Look at this thing. I'm pretty sure this prawn is gonna bash the other one. Oh, he's he insta destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, let's see you deal with this army of piranhas, buff piranha. He has so much confidence and swag. Look at him. Here we go. Look at his little mouth. No, 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 no. Yeah, punch him. He's not really punching them at all. Oh, he just like punched himself. Oh, he got them all. I think his arms got flipped upside down somehow. All right, he's able to take out some piranha, but can he take out an army of great whites? Here he goes, look at him go. I love this thing, it is so funny. Get him, he's punching him. Yeah, he got one. Oh, they are just brutal biting him. Oh, he got all of them. <laughs> he might be a little OP. You guys remember my robot shark? Look at him, isn't he amazing? Well, I found him a competitor. Oh, <laughs> he might be a little OP. I purposely didn't give my shark any lasers because I thought that'd be too overpowered, but this guy has no problem doing that. Although my shark is super buff. Look at him, he's withstanding this barrage. <laughs> oh no, Maggie. Yes, I call him Maggie. Well, I think if you give anything this many lasers and that many, like, little zapper things, uh, it's bound to win. Anytime something comes on the scene with too much power, I always have to pit him against this thing. And here we go. Insta death. <laughs> well, every now and then I have to go look through the workshop for units that are just extremely derpy. And today I found a unit that's claiming to be Mario. <laughs> what the? Look at this thing. This is somebody's version of Mario. And that mustache is so Bruh. beautiful. Well, since we got him, we might as well watch him fight. Although he can't really walk too well. Get him, guys. Oh, He's just pummeling these guys. Well, Mario might be a little bit more uh, powerful than I anticipated. Oh, I see. He's incredibly upset because people keep making fun of him. Now, this next unit, uh, you can go in the workshop and you can look up this unit and you'll find some really good ones. The Roblox noob. This one, however, not so, not so good. <laughs> this looks like the creature that the Roblox noob evolved into because he was sick and tired of everybody making fun of the way he looked. And then he grew some giant pinchers just to torture everyone. Pretty sure that it's not gonna go too well for these guys. Oh, he's got one in his pinchers. He just does a spin move and flings them all over the map. Oh, he's violent, look at him. <laughs> Anything with these pinchers just terrifying. Well, lesson learned. Don't make fun of the Roblox noobs. In this next unit, I really have no idea how it works but it's amazing it's a penguin <laughs> it's in the sky somehow it's up in i should say the water like it's swimming down somehow some way when you spawn this thing in he launches up in the air i think that maybe he built it on a pedestal and then he that fish heads up here and all this extra stuff down here so when you put them down and you just go boop up into the air that's my thought at least but either way he's <laughs> Look at that move. He's a little awesome penguin. I like him. Ooh, this hill giant's freaking out. He's like, get this penguin off of me. I don't think I've ever seen it move like that before. Since that penguin was able to destroy that hill giant with relative ease, I thought I'd get a whole bunch more. I just enjoy watching him move. <laughs> he's like, there's a little stutter and it's super cute. This is a violent scene over here. Oh, and he's got spikes from behind just in case he gets jumped in the back. This penguin is dangerous. You wouldn't think that something so fluffy and cute and awesome would be so terrifyingly good, but 
It is. Well, he got them all. There he goes. Hello, Mr. Orca. Do you know what's better than a regular great white shark? A megalodon, but not just an ordinary one. One covered in tons of spikes. This is called Spiky Boy. I'm pretty sure we can guess how this is gonna end. Who's sparking all the orcas? Actually, I'm, I'm actually curious if the orcas are gonna win. Oh, this is what they do. Pack animal. They just go and they just take and push their prey into the oblivion they still haven't died yet though which is kind of surprising what happens if it gets pushed off the edge does it die right away does it fall or do you, can it just like fight because it's technically still underwater well they got it down there so i'm assuming that it doesn't die the same way it falls off the level that they can fight below the surface oh they're gonna get this thing the shark is trying to swim away he's like save me wow that was actually an extremely close battle but they managed to take him out you've all seen godzilla on land but now godzilla is swimming through the water I'm not entirely sure why I made this army, but we got a bunch of these guys and a bunch of Barneys, and we're gonna watch them get destroyed. So I'm pretty sure if this Godzilla is true to his form, it's gonna have some lasers. Yeah, it's got them. It's got big old lasers, but those Barneys are super aggressive. Something needs to be done about these aquatic animals and how they just swim down the ground. But this uh, Godzilla is pretty cool. I think it needs a little bit of work, but it, it, it's got the whole head part going on there. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like how it looks. I just think it needs a little bit of work, perhaps. So to make this next one work, because I wish it was larger, I made little tiny people. What do you think this thing is? It's Sentichoro. Look at this thing. It's epic, man. I wish it was a little bit larger somehow, because then we could really you know see the epicness of this thing but i mean it is this is very well done and i like him a lot and we need one punch man over here to be able to take him out and the snake is perfect because it actually gives the little wrap around thing that you would that you see with sentichuro but you know i not you can't make something that big i'm kind of confused what's he doing he's like all curled up on himself maybe he's taking a break oh there he goes <laughs> he's doing something weird over here you really get a feel for this thing when you see it kind of from from afar look look at this this is so well done i i'm a big fan of this this is awesome hey look at this thing's pretty cool looking it that looks really uh true to the form of that thing i don't know what it's called he's got a big old giant swordfish thing on its nose with the spiky specks so i'm i'm assuming that he can beat these things maybe i don't know they're they're going at him look at him gnawing on his fin this is what i love about this game you guys make some oh dad he, you guys make some amazing things and i like checking them out I know I said I wasn't going to do this anymore where I put the epic thing at the end, but this one is so cool looking that I had to put it at the end. This thing is basically a Mecha Mosasaurus. Look at this epic thing. Oh my goodness. This is some this is some art right here. This took a long time. I should have put more of these like little, you know, these things on my robot shark. But man, look at that fin, it's epic looking. I like it a lot. He's got a sweet mouth, which I'm sure is gonna eat stuff because it's flat to the ground. So we're not gonna see it derp out like the other ones. Look at him go. He's got lasers. Things are happening. Oh, look at that mouth. He's got so, he's got a whole bunch in there. Yes. And then everything's got spikes. And so he's spiking everything as he goes along. We need a bigger army. I think that'll do. Here we go. Let's watch it in action again. Yum. He just gets like four guys. This is like the best bite I've seen in this game. You think like some of the other ones that have... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think some of the other ones that we've seen would be the best because they're so huge. But they don't work. They're not functional. They, they don't, they're not functional. <laughs> look at that guy back there. Uh, this one though, look at how many bodies are in this mouth. One, two, three, four, five five six maybe i don't even know there's a lot in there <laughs> look at this insane beast of a mech the problem is that it might be a little bit too powerful for this oh, army but we ought to check it out and see exactly what happens oh it's got missiles i didn't even know it had missiles yeah so it turns out that uh, this thing might need a bigger challenge so let's do something we've yet to do how about a whole army of land sharks <laughs> does this work 
It does work. It's like they're swimming through the la on the land, which are gonna do absolutely nothing to it. But it sure was fun watching them get completely destroyed. Well, I think since we did that, we had to do this, right? Then this is the only logical next step is to have a bunch of sharks fight a bunch of orcas on land and watch as they fly through the air magically. This is a little bit of a derp fest over here. I can't tell what's happening. All right, the orcas are gonna be victorious over here. So I think it's about time we go back to the water. Oh, here's a little cute creature. Wrong. <laughs> this thing is like a nightmare. Is this supposed to be like a Nautilus-like thing? Cause it kind of looks like it. Well, let's watch as it fights. Oh, it's going the opposite way I th that I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, it's just a big giant spiky thing of doom. Are they punching each other? Yeah, so it's basically big spikes and uh, poking people and stuff. <laughs> this guy's like, curse you little demon nautilus spawn. Hey, look at this cute little axolotl. Isn't he so wonderful? This is really well done. I think this looks pretty good. I wonder if he'll win against all these guys. Let's see. Wow, he's fast. There he goes. Go, little guy. Go. Oh, no. They killed him already. Let's see how you deal with this army of axolotls. I think this will go a little bit differently this time. Yes, eat them up. Oh, they are just getting destroyed like pinatas at a little kid's birthday party. Oh no, they're just getting absolutely destroyed. They're win they won, they did, but a lot of their friends died in the process. Now that we have a water map, the spino fits right in, and you know what else fits in? My Kraken! Look at him go! He's amazing! <laughs> Forgot about this guy. He's just a wonderful dude. Oh, he, he got them all. How about this intact Kraken versus that intact Kraken? This one looks like an actual Kraken. A little bit more without those little spiky spikes. Does this one have lasers? I can't. Yep, he's got lasers in his eyeballs. It's never good. Oh, look at him fight! Get up in there! Who will be the v victorious Kraken in this battle? I don't know, it just kind of looks like they're doing a weird dance. Oh, of course that was going to happen, right? He was barely even touched. Just pieces flying everywhere. Or what do you think of this thing, hippos? Look at this monstrosity. We're in, we're in a whole new realm of the game now. Where people are making amazing looking aquatic animals that actually swim and stuff. He's going to eat that hippo. Yum! Oh, he missed him. This is kind of what all the aquatic stuff does. They just stick their tail in the air and swim down and then try to just bite things slowly. Mm, the mating call of the hippopotamus. Well, this is an eventful battle. I have been deceived. Look at this thing right here. It looks pretty large, doesn't it? Turns Ooh. out it's just a little baby. It's so small compared to the picture. But let's see what happens, shall we? Does it do anything? Oh, it walks on the ground. It doesn't actually swim. That's okay, I guess. The packies are probably gonna destroy it. Listen to the audio effect for these things. It sounds like somebody just swallowing over and over again. <laughs> well, at least it looks pretty cool. Ah, yes. The legendary Plesiosaurus. It's like the Loch Ness Monster. Although, what? Why? What's up with its tail uh, over here? You think it'd have a longer tail? <laughs> anyway, take that gorillas! <laughs> About to get wrecked. Yeah, it ate them! Oh, yeah. Oh, it's it's actually eating oh, bubbles. I didn't know that there were bubbles on this map. He's eating things. There he goes. Oh, listen to that crunch. I'm a fan of the plesiosaurus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's graphic. I need to put like a... Like a warning on this game. Yeah, even though its neck looks weird and everything, and it has no tail, it sure is it sure is an awesome creation. I like it a lot. Now it's time for you to witness the epic creations. As if that Plesiosaurus wasn't epic, but I found something even more amazing. This thing. Look at it. I wish I made my mecha shark with a mouth like this. I think it technically is a shark, right? It's just got legs over there. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna destroy these. <laughs> it can barely move because its mouth is like all hobbling along. Oh, oh yeah, he's eating it. Get him. Oh man. Yes, it may be going up, but at least this one is actually gobbling things up. I like it. Let's put a couple coward coals with no detection range in here and see what happens. Coward coals about to be eaten. Whoa, 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 he's flinging them around. There, one went flying. There he goes over there. Oh, he got one. <laughs> he got him in his jaws. I got rid of the bottom part of the jaw thinking that would help. And it only has a little bit. It's still very much derpy. But he ate him at least. A new sea dragon. Or perhaps kaiju 
has risen. It towers as tall as some of the world's largest buildings, with many arms, two gigantic claws the size of an ordinary monster's mouth. This is the colossal sea dragon. He is terrifyingly epic looking. Look at the size of this thing. Witness what happens. Oh, he's got lasers. Okay, well, I was just hoping he didn't have lasers and he just uses gigantic claw fist things to just utterly wreck everything, which he is. He can't even actually make it past his claws. But even if they did, they have to deal with lasers. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna- Oh, it just got spiked that one. I don't think I have anything that can defeat this gigantic monstrosity. How about two of my mecha sharks from the last video? Let's see if they can fight and destroy this thing. Probably not, since this- Look at these are massive sharks. These are megalodons. Oh, he just blasted that one. Knocked it up and- Oh, it's all over. Perhaps we take the Dark Slayer Dragon and face it against this thing. And you can see the sheer size of this colossal. And because if you put in a person, let me just show you. Let me just show you an ordinary human being next to these things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it says a big difference in the size here. So let's see what happens now. Who will win? Oh, the Dark Slayer. It's got more lasers. Just wreck that thing. The great thing is, is that while this thing is epic, and probably one of the best creations I've ever seen, I have even more awesome things that I have found in the workshop that you guys have made. And we're going to check them out next time. But I thank you for joining me today in today's video. I, 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 I really think that uh, you guys are awesome. And I appreciate you so much. Click one of the two videos that you're about to see that pop up at the end. Subscribe, like, all the good stuff. I even like how detailed this is. All of the teeth, yeah, well, all the spikes and the claws are like offset. So they don't like touch, they overlap. Like that's really cool. And then we've got lots of little pincher things. How many arms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, what? Three, six, seven, eight, eight of them. And then little, his head is actually somewhat proportioned to his body, which most creat creatures are not. Uh, but this thing is, and I really like it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, I didn't even see his big club tail over here. Anyway, see you guys next time. <laughs>